computer-generated Spider-Man saves Gwen Stacy from certain death in one of only two great scenes in a not-so-great Spider-Man 3. Hey, it's Fuzzy Dave. I know that face. First of all, if you haven't seen Spider-Man 3, you don't want to watch this review because it has tons of spoilers. It's really mainly for people who've already seen the movie and I'm kind of talking about it. Maybe kind of a rant, I guess you could say. All the things that I, I really just hated about the film. Um, however, uh, if you haven't seen Spider-Man 3, let me kind of sum it up in a little capsule form here. Spider-Man 3 is kind of like looking at an impotent elephant's penis. It's way too long, a bit limp, and you're not quite sure if you ever want to see it again. But you can always tell your friends, yeah, I, I saw it. So, what's Spider-Man 3 about? Well, he kind of has to deal with a self-absorbed, overwrought, razor-toothed goblin. The review. Oh. They hated it. They hated me. Well, they can't hate you. They and they even gave her musical numbers. Musical numbers. We don't need musical numbers in a Spider-Man movie, for God's sakes. And there are tons of musical numbers in this movie. What is this shit? And take a look at this. What the hell? Now dig on this. Now dig on this? What? Leave me alone. Give me rent. You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door! First he dances, now he's emo. Look at all that eye makeup. Who does he think he is? Robert Smith? Let me tell you, between all the dancing and the crying and the Tell me, tell me, tell me how you do it, by the time he gets to Spider-Man 4, Peter Parker will be fighting this guy. Sergeant Slalom, he'll shush your ass off. Maybe he'll just date him. Couldn't do any worse than Kristen Dunst. Now the one thing that really chaps my ass about this movie, not so much the butler thing, which I really, really hated, and we will not be discussing the butler thing. The one thing that bugged me was the whole Sandman sequence. I mean, I know this is a comic book movie. I know... I'm supposed to suspend my disbelief. I mean, good God, I've already bought into the concept that a man can get bitten by a radioactive spider and gain superpowers instead of contracting leukemia. I think I'm on board here. However, there's only so much disbelief I can suspend, and I think they pushed the limit with the whole Sandman transmogrification sequence. First of all, he becomes Sandman because he falls into an open pit at a quantum physics research testing facility. A research facility that's goal is to mess with the fundamental elements of matter and reality. Of course, you want to place it next to the largest city in the United States, close enough so that a bunch of donut-sucking NYPD officers and their dogs can jog there within a matter of three minutes. And I'll repeat this because it bears repeating. It's an open pit. No roof. No building. You're dealing with the fundamental elements of matter and reality. Open pit. Hey, environmental impact, environmental schmimpact. So how does he become Sandman? Glow sticks. Three big-ass glow sticks. All we need now is some hacky sacks and three guys who are still bummed out that fish broke up, and we've got every party I've been to in the last three years. So he's standing in a pit of sand. The glow sticks are going... And it turns him into sand. So what was the point of the experiment? To turn sand into more sand? Ah! 
I think you see my point here. We don't have a sand shortage, so they could not have been doing an experiment to create more sand. They had to be wanting to turn the sand into something else. So wouldn't the guy have been turned into the something else too? Duh. After that bit, I just sort of threw my hands up and gave up. And just sat there watching the rest of the movie, hoping that it would get better, but it didn't. Really, the with all the emo stuff in there and the dancing and the musical numbers and the, the really sloppy, sloppy writing um, just ruined it for me, really. There were some good sequences, I'll give it that. I mean, I love the Gwen Stacy rescue bit that we, sh we saw at the beginning there, that I showed you at the beginning. Um, the scene where the lump of sand becomes Sammy, that was all CGI. And, and it, how ironic is that, that the best acting in the movie was computer generated and not done with an actor? That has to say something about this movie. If I had to give this movie a grade, see.